Cut the tip of a screw off and you'll find that it's much more difficult to split a piece of wood than if you left the tip on. This is true with nails as well, although you don't need to cut the head off but blunt the tip with a hammer. But if you've ever cut the tip off of a screw, you know that it's no small feat. You can buy self-drilling screws, but they can be expensive and sometimes hard to find, which isn't good if you're looking to stock up. That means you're left with the old-fashioned method of drilling pilot holes before screwing. Whatever you decide to do, there's a common problem that happens when screwing two objects together. A slight gap will oftentimes work its way between objects being machined. Clamping can solve the problem, but clamping isn't always possible. If you're screwing wood pieces together, you might be tempted to close the gap by pressing harder and squeezing the trigger. But this can damage the top layer and cause wood splits even if you drill. Instead, work with the wood by backing the screw out, press down, and drive it back in. It's a simple approach that can oftentimes be easily overlooked, but it'll save your stock and your sanity. Sub and follow for more bite-sized tips. Keep making things.